what I have here on the screen is a model which I'm going to enlarge and this model has two predictor latent variables and one criterion latent variable. These two predictor latent variables are time management TMNGT and CMNGT which is cost management. These two variables are predicted to influence effectiveness and all of these variables refer to the unit of analysis team. So what this model uh, is, is predicting is that time management, team time management will affect team effectiveness. Team cost management will also affect effectiveness. As you can see, the numbers here for the path coefficients are odd. They are, bit, they are larger than one, uh, which is usually a red flag. And the reason why they are odd, they are, they are, uh, uh, th these numbers don't seem to make sense, is the collinearity, that there is collinearity between these two predictor latent variables. How do I know that? I go to view and view variance inflation factors. And I see that my variance inflation factors associated with cost management and time management, they are higher than 10. Even being higher than 5 it suggests collinearity between latent variable predictors. Note that this is different from uh, loadings and cross loadings problems among indicators. What I have here is a different type of problem, which is a problem of collinearity between different latent variables. As you can see, the numbers here are ridiculously high, um, 2,654. Any number here higher than 10 would indicate uh, collinearity. So this is very high collinearity indeed. How do I solve this problem? Well, there are a couple of options. As you can see, these two latent variables, they are measured through only one indicator. And that often is the case when you have collinearity problems because the software has no way of uh, reducing collinearity with only one indicator per latent variable. If you have more than one indicator, then the software will try to find the right combination of weights between indicators and latent variables to reduce multicollinearity. In this case, the software cannot do that. So one option, since they are collinear, it seems that they measure the same thing. So one option to solve the problem is to combine these two variables into one, and then this one variable will have two indicators. Another option is to simply remove one of these variables from the model. I will simply remove one of them from the model. So I will go to the option, proceed to step 4. I will redo the step 4 again, which is defining the model. I will go to the option, delete latent variable. I will delete this one. I will save the model and close. The software creates the model structure. Then I will go to step 5, perform the SEM analysis again. And here I have reasonable, uh, a reasonable uh, path coefficient between the two variables because now I don't have the collinearity problem anymore. 